Thank you. New tonight, the conversation regarding juvenile crime in our state growing louder now. This coming after the death of a 14-year-old Hamden boy gunned down in the city of Waterbury. His death, just one of several juvenile deaths in recent weeks. Fox 61's Carmen Chow has the message from lawmakers. That Hamden teen has been identified as 14-year-old Will Vasquez. The governor saying today had the state offered more resources, we wouldn't be talking about his death. I wish the probation had been a little stronger after his first offense getting in the wrong car. Governor Lamont referring to 14 year old Will Vasquez from Hamden, who police say was shot and killed in the head early Monday morning. Police not revealing the exact location of the shooting, only saying it happened near Waterbury. It was just last month when 14 year old Angel Velez was stabbed to death in Waterbury on Colonial Avenue. These teens death igniting a conversation about help for juveniles. There's 100 to 200 kids in this state, youth, that need some taken to custody, that need to be slowed down in life. Waterbury Mayor Neil O'Leary, a former police officer, stated in 2014 the Juvenile Justice Oversight Policy Committee was created, but the recent incidents have proved some policies need to be tweaked. In Waterbury, there are probably 20 offenders, most under the age of 18, who are responsible for at least 80% of the crime in the city of Waterbury. Governor Lamont putting an emphasis on community policing. They can deter crime where they see crime and hopefully deter incidents like what impacted this young man so we can head it off. The governor listing some additional changes he would like to see, such as putting teens in secure group facilities instead of prison, making sure judges know the nature of the teen's arrest, and unclogging the backed up juvenile cases caused by COVID. Senate Republican leader Kevin Kelly responding to Governor Lamont's suggestions. We need to take action. I think the kids of Connecticut are worth fighting for, and now is the time to act. House Republican leader Vincent Candelora thinks the governor should have addressed this issue several months ago and believes a special session can tackle this emergency. Reporting at the state capitol, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.